Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. Hurricane. Today we will be learning about hurricanes. What is a hurricane? A hurricane is a big powerful storm that starts over warm ocean water in the tropics. It has very strong winds and lots of rain. Hurricanes have different names depending on the region of the world where they occur. For example, in the Atlantic Ocean and Northeast Pacific Ocean, hurricanes are also called tropical cyclones or simply cyclones. In the Northwest Pacific Ocean, hurricanes are known as typhoons. In the South Pacific and Indian Ocean, Hurricanes are called severe tropical cyclones. Regardless of the name used, these storms all have the same basic characteristics of strong winds, heavy rain, and potential for significant damage. How are hurricanes formed? Hurricanes are formed through a combination of warm ocean water, moisture in the atmosphere, and certain weather conditions. First, the sun heats up the surface of the ocean, causing it to evaporate and release water vapor into the air. The water vapor rises and cools as it goes higher into the atmosphere. When it cools, it forms clouds. As more water vapor is released into the air, the clouds become bigger and bigger. This is called a tropical disturbance. If certain conditions are met, such as warm ocean water and low wind shear, the tropical disturbance can continue to grow and intensify into a tropical depression. If the tropical depression continues to strengthen, it becomes a tropical storm, with wind speeds up 39 to 73 miles per hour. Finally, if the storm's winds reach 74 miles per hour or greater, it is classified as a hurricane. Once a hurricane has formed, it can travel across the ocean and potentially make landfall, causing significant damage and posing a danger to people and property in its path. Have you ever wondered how fast a hurricane moves? The speed of a hurricane can vary widely depending on a variety of factors including the location and size of the storm as well as the wind and weather conditions in the surrounding area. However, on average, a hurricane moves at a speed of around 10 to 20 miles per hour or 16 to 32 kilometers per hour when it is over open water. Once a hurricane makes landfall, its speed can slow down significantly and it may even stall over a particular area, resulting in heavy rainfall and flooding. It's important to note that while the speed of a hurricane can be measured, its impact and potential for damage are determined by a combination of factors, including wind speed, storm surge, and the amount of rainfall it produces. What are the parts of a hurricane? A hurricane is a complex storm system with several distinct parts. Here are just some of the parts of a hurricane. The eye. The eye of the storm is the calm center of the hurricane, typically around 20 to 40 miles or 32 to 64 kilometers in diameter. Eye wall. The area surrounding the eye where the most intense winds, heaviest rain, and strongest weather conditions occur is called the eye wall. Rain bands. Bands of clouds and precipitation that spiral outward from the center of the hurricane are called rain bands. These can extend hundreds of miles from the eye 
and produce significant rainfall and flooding. Outflow The upper level winds that flow out of the top of the hurricane are called the outflow. These help to ventilate and strengthen the storm. Storm surge, a rise in sea level that can occur when a hurricane's winds push water toward the shore are called storm surges. This can result in significant flooding in coastal areas. Tornadoes, some hurricanes can produce tornadoes which can cause additional damage and pose a significant threat to life and property. Understanding the different parts of a hurricane can help people prepare for and respond to these dangerous storms. It's important to follow weather forecasts and emergency instructions from authorities to stay safe during a hurricane. Here are some tips to help you stay safe during a hurricane. Stay informed. Listen to weather reports and emergency alerts on the radio, television, or other sources. Keep up to date on the latest developments and instructions from local authorities. Prepare for emergencies with an emergency kit. Pack a bag with essential supplies like food, water, clothing, first aid supplies, and medications. Make sure to have enough supplies to last for several days. Secure your home. Make sure to secure windows and doors and to bring outdoor furniture and other items indoors. If you live in a flood-prone area, consider elevating furniture and appliances off the floor. Evacuate if necessary. If local authorities advise evacuation, follow their instructions and evacuate immediately. Listen to emergency personnel and move to higher ground if necessary. Stay safe during the storm. If you can't evacuate, stay inside and away from windows and doors. If the power goes out, use flashlights or battery-operated lanterns instead of candles. Avoid using electrical appliances and stay away from floodwaters which may be contaminated or have dangerous currents. By following these tips, persons can stay safe during a hurricane and reduce the risk of injury or property damage. Remember to always listen to local authorities and emergency personnel and take necessary precautions to stay safe. I hope you learned something about hurricanes today. These big powerful storms that start over warm water can be dangerous. Always be on alert. Thank you for taking this learning journey with me. Until next time. As always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email EZA Homeschool Academy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.